I have a vision that I need to share with you tonight. The Lord's making me do it. To be honest with you, in years past, uh, because of the nature of this vision and how it impacts me, the things in my own heart, I may not have ever made it public before, but the Lord says it's timely. And he said that I'm in a place to where um, I have to prophetically release these into the earth and to share it with those who have ears to hear. In this vision, the Lord caught me away. I went into the spiritual realm and I could sense and feel this ominous dark specter. I could feel the fear, the evil, the antichrist spirit of it. And it was looming, it was threatening. I could feel it threatening not only the spirit around me, but even our nation and around the world. It's hard for me to describe, but just the work of the enemy. And, and in it was this huge threat. It was a threat of war, threat of violence, threat about uh, political and sociological ideologies uh, that would rob people under its control of uh, their dignity and their purpose and you know finances and so many other things and it just was this huge threat and and in the midst of it just like that machine gun bullets I thought of things like North Korea and Iran um, you know political structure the United States stuff the attacks coming against President Trump just this this whole myriad of things it just kind of overwhelmed me and I could just see the darkness and I could feel the threat. And then I heard the voice of the Lord and it said, quoting Isaiah 59, 19, when the enemy comes in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against him. And as soon as those words rang out through the spiritual atmosphere, then this invisible barrier, like an invisible wall, blown by the wind, driven by the wind into place, raised up against it and stopped it and began to push it back. I could sense that the Spirit of God and the authority in the spiritual realm is what was making the darkness and the threat flee, driving it back, setting up parameters and borders that it was not allowed to cross. Then I heard the voice say, the body of Christ is the standard. The body of Christ is the standard. That invisible wall driven by the wind, by the spirit, was the standard. It was what was breaking the power of the darkness, of the specter. It was what was setting the parameters and driving it back and causing it to flee and to run away the enemy being driven. And then the voice said, the trinity of power in the earth is the new creation, talking about believers, the word of God and the Holy Spirit, the spirit of God. Those three things make up the power of the standard against it. And the voice said, Pray for each other. Pray for the body of Christ. Pray for revival. Pray for spiritual awakening. Pray for the Spirit of God to move across the earth and to bring in millions of souls into the kingdom of God. And he said, this is all about revival. It's all about the saving of humanity, about bringing people into the kingdom of God. Then... The voice said, and it was the voice of the Lord, I'll reiterate that, it's imperative that President Trump stays in office. He said it's imperative for, and, and while he was talking, I saw like this map of the earth. It wasn't a round globe, it was one that was like the flat map and highlighted in each area as I viewed it, the Spirit of God 
drew my focus to those areas. And he said, it's important for America, for the United States. And I saw North America and Central America and South America and the influence that God was having through the office of President Trump and how it was beginning to affect those nations spiritually as well as in the natural realm. Spiritually because of the power of the Holy Spirit, but because of the body of Christ. And what the body of Christ in America and around the world was accomplishing right now. And he said, pray for President Trump. So the first pray for was the body of Christ. Revival, spiritual awakening, authority, standing up and who they are in Jesus. The second pray for was President Trump. Then my focus shifted and the highlight moved over to Europe. Now pray for Europe. He said, pray for the souls of the nations. And then the highlighting moved over into the Middle East over Israel. We need to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Then it moved eastward even further into the area of the Philippines, Japan, South Korea, and it was highlighted. Then it moved from there down south and it went to the area of Australia and New Zealand. Now, I'm not sure exactly why, but that's the vision. Those areas are greatly affected because of President Trump and because of the body of Christ, a revival that is spreading throughout the earth. Then the voice, the Lord said, Great Britain, Canada, Australia, New Zealand will join the U.S. in protecting Israel, but the rest of Europe has decisions to make. Then he said, pray for Europe. Then he said, be the standard. The vision ended. I'm sure that the Lord will unpack more to me in the hours and the days ahead. But I come out of this vision understanding the importance of revival in the earth, and how it stems the tide of the dark specter, that the body of Christ is the standard. And he said that standard with the body of Christ is number one, the new creation being the word of God and the spirit of God, that trinity that stands against evil and the spirit of antichrist in the world, in the United States. Also, the importance of President Trump right now. I'll be honest with you, I thought I knew, spiritually and intellectually, mostly about what the influence that President Trump has. And by the way, the, the Lord also said, my hand is still on President Trump. But I realized how far affecting this goes because of the purposes that God is using that man for. I'm not lifting up the man, I'm lifting up the vessel, the vehicle, the hand of the Lord and how the hand of the Lord is using the office in order to accomplish his will on the face of this earth. And there are so many believers that don't like President Trump. I can understand how abrasive he can be. I personally think it's great. Sometimes I shudder when I hear some of the things that he says. But then some gets a hold of me and says, man, that guy, he just tells it like it is. That's what shakes things. That's what breaks the status quo. That's part of, you know, the draining of the swamp and the confronting. All of those foul spirits of Jezebel and Pharisee and everything else. I love that authority. You know, even when he uh, announced him running again for his second term in the, the White House the other day. The authority when he announced that is unbelievable. God uses it, uses it to shake things in the spiritual realm, to
to confront in his own way those demonic forces. And he doesn't even really know it. President Trump doesn't even understand. I'm convinced of that. What he's doing. He's learning. And I know there are people that are telling him. But he just thinks he's doing what's right. He doesn't understand that by confronting it. By confronting what's wrong and doing what's right. That he's confronting the evil behind it. And releasing the good. And of course that good is from God. So I want to encourage you, let you know, God said it's imperative that President Trump stays in office. So that's the will of the Lord. I want to pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for each and every believer out there that will hear what the Spirit of God is saying. I pray that they will be the standard that they will be the force, the spiritual dynamic, the authority of the believer with the Word of God and the Spirit of God to pray earnestly as spiritual warriors and to stand up and prophetically declare into the atmosphere and then allow their bodies to follow their prayers, put action and feet to their prayers, to be the standard for the cause of Christ in the United States of America and in every other nation on this earth. And I pray for strength, wisdom, guidance for each and every one. Release that anointing and that power into their life, Lord God. Bring strength, healing, prosperity to their lives, that they have the time, the strength, and the money to fulfill the destiny and the calling that you have on them as they rise and be the standard in the name of Jesus. And we pray for the peace of Jerusalem. In Jesus' blessed name, hallelujah, hallelujah. Spirit of God's overcoming me a bit right now. I do want to ask you to subscribe to our YouTube channel Visit our website. It's in the description, but wordoflifeworldoutreach.org. And be blessed. There's one other thing. The Spirit of the Lord came on me, and he said to do, before I end, to tell you, that you are the beloved of God and that he will move heaven and earth for you, for your life to keep covenant fulfillment and to bless you and your family. Would you, in prayer and faith, move heaven and earth for his purposes and cause? Thus saith the Lord. God bless you.